guys welcome back to my channel today i am here with a super tarts haul <laughs> this is a combination of bam bags and um clam shells as, as well as a sampler so i have had people ask um about robert well he he's been working a lot um some days he's been working 10 11 hour days he's working from six in the morning to four or five in the evening and honestly by the time he gets home the last thing he wants to do is this um, I offered last weekend for him to do this haul with me. Today is now Thursday. So I've, I've given him almost a week and he was like, yeah, I'd like to do it with you. And then he just kind of, it just didn't happen. So I said, okay, I want to get this stuff put away. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And he was like, okay, whatever. So I'm hoping I do have a couple more hauls coming in. So I'm hoping he will join me for at least one because I know people have been asking. It's just he's been working a lot and he's just exhausted. Like literally he comes home. He's the type of person that needs a lot of sleep. He is the type of person that cannot function unless he gets a good solid 10, 11 hour sleep. So he's been like coming home about... 3 30 4 o'clock in the afternoon he'll eat and he showers and then he's crashes he's been going to bed between six and seven in the evening so he can get up just before six in the morning so um yeah there's not a lot of time for him to <laughs> join me in my videos right now um i'm hoping things i'm not i'm not hoping things will slow down because he's not an hourly employee i've mentioned this he's a contractor and contractors don't get paid hourly at his job so, I mean, the more he works, the more he makes, whereas the less he works, the less he makes. He's not set at a 40 hour a week pay scale like everybody else in the corporate world or whatever. So he, um, you know, right now it's, it's good. There's weeks where it's not so good. So I'm going to take advantage of it. So, um, the first thing I have is I did order one of her parlay samplers. Now, I know there's going to be crinkling. I know some people love it. Some people hate it. So I'm going to go ahead and just take these out of the bag, all of them out right now. So that way he wasn't too thrilled with this pre-order because it was bakery and coffee and he does not like bakery or coffee. So, but the clam shells I got in a few days later were mostly up his alley. I'm going to see when I'm done with these BAMs and the sampler if I feel if there's enough time for me to add in the um, clamshells. If there's not, then maybe I'll try to have him do it with me later. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to convince him. So um, the sampler was how many are here? Three, five, seven. There's what, 11, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Yeah, there's 11 cents in the sampler. So these are all new. Um, and some of these I kind of hope I haven't melted them obviously, but I'm hoping some of these will wind up in the, um, in the line, whether it's clamshells or bams. So the first thing is pirate's booty and it's bum bum and pink sand. So I do like, she put these scent notes on them. So I'm going to write five of 21 on the labels. That way I know when I receive them. So this one smells really good. I love her pink sands. I haven't had her her bum bum cream but this is good I really like this so um what was I gonna say <laughs> I just had a complete thought and it's gone now wow okay oh yeah um so this was the pre-order there was a couple things that were back ordered um I had also ordered a bam bag of Gandalf and Harry and those were on back order so those are not included in here she did actually sh I got shipping for yesterday for those so those will be in my possession early next week I really I can't k stop smelling that one that's really good so anyway so those two band bags are missing from my order because they were uh back ordered the next one is doubloons which is golden sands and ocean breeze I'll probably save these for next summer to be honest because I do like to hold on to my stuff for a little while. I love her Golden Sands. This is real good. And I like her Ocean Breeze. Ocean Breeze is one of the components in um, the Omen blends. So if you like those type of blends, I think you'd like a bunch of these. Walk the Plank Jaws and Lavender. Jaws is the like seagrass, plum pear, or whatever. Oh, this is real good. So this is more of an herbal lavender. 
but that's really good mixed with the jaws. But again, I like to, you know, it's, it's mid May now. And honestly, I wouldn't want to melt these right now. I would wait till next summer. Um, so you'll probably see these next summer. All right. Jolly Roger, which is black pepper, lavender, and orange blossom. This one, black pepper kind of scares me. There's so many scents with black pepper and I'm just like, Hmm, that's good. That's really good. Yeah, I really like that a lot. So this lavender isn't as herbal as that other one. Um, that's real good. The orange, I don't get any orange. So I get that pepper and I get the lavender. I might get a hidden hint of citrus. I can't talk today. I have not finished my coffee. And it shows. <laughs> It's funny because for five days before I had my surgery, I didn't drink coffee. I wanted like coffee, drinking coffee made me more like anxious and jittery about surgery. So I didn't drink any coffee. Um, I had surgery on a Friday. I did not drink coffee Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, and then I like overdosed over the weekend <laughs> afterwards. But I, 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 I drank coffee the weekend before and and it just it kind of enhanced my anxiousness so I did not drink I don't know how I survived I don't know how my husband survived I don't know how anybody in my family survived me not drinking coffee for five days all right the next is scallywag which is a salt water cool water type seagrass and vanilla musk I love cool water it's a really nice blend I really like these black uh cups I'm really mad at myself because I wanted to order the rain sampler when it was offered. She offered it on Wax Wednesday. And I didn't get it because it was one of those that was only offered for the first hour. Well, she opened at midnight her time, which is 3 a.m. my time. I am a mother. I cannot be up till 3 in the morning. I have children to get up at 6 for school. There was no way. Um, I cannot function on that little sleep. So, um... I did. I missed out. Well, then she offered it again and my dumb ass didn't order it. I was trying to be good. I'm doing the whole trying to be good, but then I get the massive case of FOMO. This is really good. So this is very fresh. You definitely get that cool water and you get like that salty seagrass type blend. That's really good. All hands on deck, ocean sea spray, sea moss, sandalwood, and ozone. I love anything that has those type of scents. Ozone and sea spray. I should have gotten more than one of this. This one smells very manly. It kind of smells soapy too. I don't know why it smells soapy, whatever. I like it. <laughs> All right, now we have oh ho ho. Yo ho, I don't know. Yo ho ho, der. Uh, Shower Fanta Blue Hawaiian Daiquiri. I swear to God, I should not do this before I have had my coffee. Y'all love me though. I mean, it just, it, it warms my heart when I haven't posted in a week. And then I post and everyone's like, oh, I'm so glad to see you post again. And it's like, I just hadn't had any hauls come in. Um, these were the first hauls I've had in probably two weeks. And this was this one. And I did get another vendor haul in. Um, I have two more coming. Um, but I haven't had any hauls and so I've just had my weekly melts, but I had several comments of, I'm so glad, you know, I jump the minute I see you post, you know, it, it, it does make, it makes me happy because I know I have a lot of people who don't like me. So it makes me happy to hear people missed my videos. So this is really good. So blue Hawaiian is like, I don't even rem remember what blue Hawaiian is, but you definitely get that strawberry Fanta and it's really, really good marooned banana orange creamsicle and pineapple so i'm not a big banana fan so i'm kind of nervous about this one okay this is good um it is kind of that fake banana but i'm gonna see what it does on warm it is it's just a scent shot so hopefully it'll be all right arg black sea avocado sea salt nectarine people talked about this one like crazy oh i can see why Oh, that's really good. So I mostly get nectarine from that. I don't know what other people get, but that's nice. Ahoy matey, blue sugar, very sexy. <laughs> Driftwood and salty sierra. I don't know what very sexy is supposed to be. Yeah, I'm going to have to do the clamshell separate. I'm already 10 minutes in and I haven't even finished the damn sampler. 
This is real nice though. It I, I love blue sugar, so that's a really good one. Robert loves blue sugar also, because of course it is more masculine. All right, the last one, Take Me Away, Watermelon Cooler, Peach Slices, Papaya, Guava, Mango, Pink Sugar. Anything with pink sugar is my friend. Yeah. Mm, that's really good. So you get, I get the peach and I get like the mango from that. So I'm excited to see what those do on warm. I got to still label those. So I'm going to push those to the side. All right, onto these bams. So I'm going to go ahead and do the clams separate. I'm going to see if I can get him to do a video with me after work. Depends on what time he gets done um, and have him do these clams with me. So I'll do the bams now because he does not like bakery or coffee. So this is the perfect time to do this. <laughs> All right, the first one I grabbed is Goosebumps. And this one is Iced Pumpkin Cupcake Mac Apple and Homemade Biscuits. So I write the scent notes and I just write the month and year I received it. <clears throat> and this is so good. So I love her band bags. Uh, they're just, you take one, pop it in the warmer. So this one is a favorite of mine for early fall. Um, I say early fall because I mostly get like a Mac Apple Biscuit. I don't get a lot of pumpkin. I've melted this one for several years. I've melted... A bunch of clams of this over the cup over the last like three four years and i mostly get like a apple bakery for me it's just like apple biscuits um there may be a hint of pumpkin but for me this is like an early fall so i do a lot of apple when i transition into fall here it is mid-may and i'm talking about transitioning into fall <laughs> um but this is a transition scent for me um and this is also one i will melt around the holidays just because i am not a huge pumpkin person uh pumpkin pecan waffles is about as pumpkiny as i will get i'm not a fan of pumpkin cheesecake i'm not a fan of those kind of scents um so this one's one that i will melt typically in september and i'll do it more around the holidays like when i'm baking and whatnot um i like a nice bakery scent and i gravitate more towards apple than pumpkin anyway all right the next one i have is house of stark and this one is fresh brewed coffee and maple sugar I love my coffee. I have not melted coffee in a long time. I need to get back on it. I, I decided that I'm going to give myself till the end of summer. And if I don't start touching the coffee scents I have, I'm going to start destashing them because there's no point in me holding on to them. It's like my fall scents. I have a whole bin of fall scents. I didn't touch hardly any of them last year. So I'm like, do I really need to keep that much? So I'm deciding over the next couple months on that too. Do I want to de-stash some so people have some nicely cured fall scents for this fall? What do I want to do with that? So I'm going to do the same with the coffee. Some coffee scents I will keep no matter what. Some I'm like, okay, if I don't touch it, I don't need to keep it. This one, I really like that. Maple just gives it a different type of sweetness. It's different than like the sweet cream. It's different than um, the sugar cookie that goes with coffee. Um, so it, it is very different. So the next one should not surprise you. I grabbed three of, one, two, three, and it's Grimes. And this one is my favorite coffee scent. This one is coffee, applesauce, and donuts. So this one is a sweeter coffee. This is, um, the applesauce makes this a sweeter coffee, but then that donut gives it a bakery. So it's a bakery coffee. Um, some people like that pungent in your face coffee. This is not it. This is a very sweet coffee. Um, this is one of the first coffee scents I ever melted from any vendor. So it is one that I gravitate towards because I love it so much. My favorite coffee scents from her. Um, I have four. I really like Grimes, <laughs> Family Matters, Lorelei, and The Office. And then Frankenstein's one I really like, but that one is more because it's got the pumpkin pie. It is more of a um, fall coffee. Speaking of Frankenstein, I did grab one, so I'd have it for fall. Coffee, pumpkin pie, and vanilla wafer. So this one's my coffee scent that I will melt mostly in the fall and winter, if I melt coffee, because this one does have that pumpkin pie. It is definitely pumpkin, um, and so I like it, but it's not one that I'd melt year-round because of the pumpkin pie note. All right, I did grab one fake and bake. So I did order originally three. I did de-stash two of them because I just don't need three of this. Um, it is zucchini bread, sugar cookie, and sweet cream. Everybody loves this. This literally sold in less than two minutes. Like I posted them 
and they both sold to the same person literally two minutes after I posted. It's good. I do like it. It is heavier on the zucchini bread and not as much on the creaminess, which is why I didn't want three bags. So honestly, I've only melted this a couple times. So for me, I'm mostly going on cold sniff, which I know, shame, shame, because you can't go on cold sniff. I'm one of the biggest people who will talk about not going on cold sniff, but I'm not as huge of a zucchini bread fan to have three bags of it. Um, I bought it just in case I did want three bags. I'm thinking, no, um, this is one I probably mix with something just because, um, if I were to recommend a zucchini bread blend, I would definitely go with something like Coven or Family Matters because it's got the coffee and zucchini bread. Um, or the other one, what's the other one I like a lot? Um, Starfleet. And that's the other zucchini bread blend that I really enjoy. All right. The next one I grabbed is Jean. This one is glazed donuts, juicy pear slices, salted caramel, and pie crust. This one, so the pear in this kind of gives it more of like a perfumey note, but that's okay. Um, I really like it. I have melted a whole clamshell of this, and I do know that I really enjoy that scent so I'm okay with having a BAM. I was trying to not buy BAMs and things I wasn't sure of. Excuse me I have hiccups and so I tried to just stick with the ones that I know are tried and true. I have enough clamshells I don't want any more clamshells in this house. Um, says the person that's about to haul <laughs> more clamshells but um, I, I have my bins are full of clams and my, my BAM bags are full. Um, I am from here on out only ordering the things that are on my really big list. Um, like Rosemary's Baby, Rue, Luna, Sea Witch, Violet. There's a few that are on my list. And they're ones I will pick up. Otherwise, I'm pretty well stocked on everything at this point. I like that she's going in alphabetical order because alphabetical order helps things not get looked over. Whereas before she would put up like a poll and the same stuff was offered every single opening. So if she did a bakery order, it was the same sense. If she did a coffee order, it was the same sense. So now going alphabetical order gives us a chance to get everything. So, which is good. So now we have a chance to not miss out on things. Another one I haven't seen uh, very often is like Phoenix. Phoenix is one I love. I've mentioned it in my, my weekly empties video. All right, the last thing that I have, I bought two of because I love this scent. It is Cujo. And Cujo is warm vanilla sugar, brown sugar, fig, and blackberry jam. So this is <clears throat> very fresh. Warm vanilla sugar is kind of perfumey to me. And brown sugar and fig kind of put off that type of blend. And then blackberry jam. I love her blackberry. And I love this scent. This is such a good scent. So I'm glad I have two bags of this one. All right, so that is it for this order. Yeah, we're 18 plus minutes in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the clam separate. Um, I'll see if he'll do, I'll tell him his people would like to see him. Cause I said, I'm gonna, I, said, I jokingly said over the weekend, I said, I need you to do this clam, uh, clamshell haul with me. I said, because I'm gonna lose all my subscribers if you don't come back. <laughs> And he was like, oh, they love me. And I said, yeah, they like you more than they like me. <laughs> All right. So that's everything for this order. And I will talk to y'all later. So I do have two more different vendor hauls to do this week. Plus I have these clamshells I'll get done with or without him. <laughs> and I will talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.